This hidden event sees players fight one of the hardest bosses in the game and unlock some of the coolest cosmetics your pirate can wear. In today's video, I'm going to show you where to find it, how to beat it, and what rewards you can unlock for doing just that. If you're new here, why not subscribe for more Skull and Bones content? And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. Before we get too far into today's video, we've actually partnered up with Toby to bring you an incredible Skull and Bones themed giveaway using their absolutely incredible eye tracker. More on that later in the video. The sea monster can take one of two forms, the standard variant, which is what you're seeing footage of me fighting right now, and the legendary variant, which is a lot harder to come by, and dawns white and pink colors. Shout it. This event is no joke and will require coordination between yourself and other pirates to take down, or else this. This happens. So yeah, don't try this event solo. The easiest way to find crew members to partner up with is by going to the social page on the menu and looking for pirates in your server who are equipped enough to fight the event alongside you. Alternatively, you could always join the Mystic Hideout Discord server where you will find over 1,500 members of this very community to interact with and help you on your journeys. It's not just about coordinating with other players, but it's also about using the correct ship types which synergize with the event. In the example you're seeing in this video, I equipped the tank type ship to take most of the damage that the pirates in my group could use higher damaging ships to kill the monster. You could also have a healer in your team to further assist you by giving passive heals and firing repair cannons, which just synergizes very nicely and makes the event much more manageable and coherent. Speaking of coherent, you might be wondering how I'm able to control my in-game camera with my absolutely beautiful face. Well, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Toby Eye Tracker 5, we have an awesome giveaway lined up for five lucky subscribers of the channel, which you aren't going to want to miss. The Toby Eye Tracker 5 isn't just a game changer. It revolutionizes how we interact with our digital worlds. The latest title to join this wave being Skull and Bones. <laughs> See what I did there? Like wave, Skull and Bones, pirate game. Worried about setup hassle? Honestly, don't be. Installation is as easy as plug and play, setting you up for a seamless dive into enhanced gaming within minutes. One of my favorite parts of using the eye tracker so far has been the feeling when you get in the crow's nest and when you're able to actually have a look around and check the horizon without lifting a finger from your keyboard. And about that giveaway, you could win your very own Toby Eye Tracker 5 or a copy of Skull and Bones for PC. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the sweepstake link at the top of the description or pinned comment and follow the instructions on the landing page. Don't want to leave it to chance? Well, if you purchase a Toby eye tracker through my link, you will also receive a free copy of Skull and Bones bundled in. So when you reach the end of the video, make sure to check out the links below. So where do you find the sea monster? Well, you actually have to wait until you see a whisper of the deep rumor appear on your map. It's really easy to miss, so constantly check your map, and the icon does resemble a treasure map, even though it's essentially a bounty. Head over to the outpost and speak to one of the outlaws. They will offer you a quest called From the Deep, and this will lead you straight to the sea monster. So far, I've only seen this quest spawn on one outpost located right here on the map, but please let me know in the comments if you found more locations. When you reach the location towards the north of the map, you will begin the battle. Now, there are a couple of main attacks this f***er uses, and all of them will completely mess you up if you play the event poorly. The first one is sort of a diving lunge attack where the monster will barrel at your ship, dive below, and then jump out of the water onto your ship. I've also seen this attack come from right out from under you, which is absolutely terrifying. The second main one is a sort of side swipe the monster will give you if you're sailing too close to the swim path. To counter these, try to get the monster to target the tank of your squad and always make sure to brace. If you brace just at the right moment, you can avoid any damage and even if you don't, it's better than taking the full amount and sinking completely. Always make sure to fire above the waves as cannonballs that go into the water before the monster do no damage. And I always find that more explosive cannons like bombards do way more damage. And please do not neglect your furniture buffs. These can be the difference in how quickly, if at all, you will beat this thing. Oh my god! <laughs> it's very difficult to hit. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, the blood. Oh my... 
<laughs> My god, it's crazy. Is it coming for me? Oh my god! <laughs> that was crazy! He's going for that unsuspecting poor ship over there. I mean, goodbye. He's here. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to shoot because... Like I say, cannibals don't travel below waves. Oh, headshot with a torpedo. Oh my god. <laughs> it messed that ship up. Holy. Jesus Christ, he just headbutted my boat and it took half of the... Health. Oh, it's coming closer. That's why I was missing. Oh, dude. That is coming right for me. That is coming right for me. So close to being done. I want to finish it with torpedoes. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, I'd be so good. Coming in. Yo! Let's go! That was so fun. What a fight! Where we gotta go? We gotta go back down to this. Once completed, you will need to turn in the eye of the sea monster back to the outpost you picked up the quest from. And this is also where you can purchase some of the rewards from. By completing these quests, you will earn a special currency, which is used to purchase the glowy set, which is similar to the scales of the monster. This is one of the coolest cosmetic sets you can currently earn in the game, and I cannot wait to see how they expand on this event and the cosmetics in the future. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And if you're looking for more content, there is a video on your screen right now.